hello and uh, I hope it's working yeah uh, hello uh, I'm icebreaker uh, you may know me from the online community the uh, discussion forum where I have the leaderboard uh, that is here you can see a bunch of great runs uh, lots of cool stuff very cool people uh, very fast people as well uh, but that, that might be where you know from me from uh, but I run this game uh, if you're clicking on the video, you probably know what this game is. Uh, it's the Massive Multiplayer Platformer Project. Uh, it's very fun, very good to run, and I'm making this video uh, to hopefully give people my tips. As I currently have the world record, I don't expect that to last for too much longer. There's some very fast people catching up to me, but I, um, as of now, am the fastest, so I'd hope to share my tips and tricks. So I'm going to be breaking down the world record. I'm, I'm splitting this tutorial, uh, the run tutorial, into two parts. Uh, this first part is just breaking down this run. I also have the game pulled up so I can explain more tricks as it goes along. But um, I'm going to break down the run, uh, kind of the strats. So if you're just starting out or want to push your times a little bit quicker, telling you where to jump, when to jump, uh, kind of how to progress just at the very fundamental level. And then my part two that I'll upload uh, within the next week, probably next weekend, uh, is going to explain the more minute details, like when to reset, when to start. Uh, I'm going to get a little bit into that here because it's important and uh, really can help, but the, the real minutia of all of the fastest tricks and how I think this run can be pushed further, I'm going to get into it next part. But uh, yeah, so that out of the way, let's get into it. So this... This run uh, was a 56.8, which uh, was a whole second faster than my last run. Uh, just some tricks that I used along the way. Uh, but you'll see, to start, you start running. And as soon as you get to the end of this platform, do a long jump. Uh, you'll, you'll notice that I land on this platform. I guess one thing I should get into is the important thing of when to start running is as this platform, this vertical platform, is starting to move down. As long as you do that, you will always make it into this cycle, which leads into later in the run. The reason you start there is because when you get to the later parts of the run, like right here, see this moving platform? It will always spawn under your feet and give you a speed boost, because now you see I'm moving faster than everyone else. Like this person, not moving as fast. That's really all that like cycle lines up, and that's the easiest cycle to hit. As soon as this moves down, very easy visual cue, you start to run. Uh, and as long as you do that, you'll make that um, moving platform cycle, and all will be well, as long as you're moving fast enough. If not, you might want to start a little bit later, so or a little bit before the moving platform goes down. It all depends. It all depends on what you're, what you're able to do. But that, that is why I start there. And every run I've ever done, you can look back on my channel, will start when, when the platform goes down. Uh, but yeah, so once you get here, you can just normal jump. I'm just holding jump and uh, right. Uh, I guess I could use now as an opportunity. I use my left hand on A and D and my right hand on up and down. Uh, this lets me, if I go into the game, so I'm using A and D on my keyboard to move left and right because what that lets me do is with my right hand I can press up and down, lets me hit uh, the uh, high jump and long jump much easier because then it's just a rolling input on my right hand. I just all at once can hit that. You can hear. It's almost like I'm pressing one key. I'm just pressing down and then immediately up, almost at the same time. I'm pretty sure at the same time you can do. And what that lets you do is moving high jumps, which lets you do elevator skips later on. But that's not important. All that matters is just get used to whatever control scheme lets you have left and right and up and down on different hands, whether that's W and S on your left hand and left and right on your right hand. All that matters is that they're split up. Uh, but you can see here, I'm just holding jump here. I might lose a little bit of time here, but it does not matter. Just holding jump. You'll let go of jump here so that you can run down these stairs. About halfway down these stairs, you press jump, because what that lets you do, you'll keep speed. You'll steal a little bit of the speed, because you're moving fast, but the stairs are going to let you move slightly faster. As long as you move about halfway down before you jump, you'll land somewhere around here but uh, hitting those stairs is going to let you uh, gain a little bit of speed. Uh, unfortunately, there was nobody here fast enough, so I'm going to go in-game just to show what that looks like. Um, you'll see when I run past people on the stairs, 
if I've taken the stairs here, I'm going to be moving faster than him, him or her, because I am actively moving faster. It's just the way the game is programmed. Uh, so then, yeah, so you'll, uh, once you've done that trick, uh, fairly easy, you'll just hold jump this whole spot everywhere up until right there. You'll want to be holding jump here, but then around here you'll let go of jump, because what you're preparing for is, once you land here, high jump. So to high jump, you just hold down and then jump when you're not holding left and right. If you're holding left and right, you'll get a long jump, which doesn't give you any height and defeats the purpose of this trick. Um, you'll notice that a high jump lets you get to the left side of this platform. You'll be holding left as soon as you high jump, so it'll look like this. Uh, you'll high jump and then hold left into the wall. Uh, that high jump lets you, as you can see, do multiple wall jumps. They're not very hard wall jumps. As long as you get those high jump, it's always going to let you get up to this flag here. Very, very easy uh, to get through. Uh, but as soon as you get up to this flag, you don't stop. Run. As long as you did that starting cycle, the moving platform should be under your feet. Uh, if the moving platform is just barely under your feet, you'll jump as soon as you get to the end. But if, it, if it's a little bit out like this, this is almost better, because what it lets you do is you build a little speed, you'll jump. Uh, this is a little bit feeling based, uh, because depending on how much speed you get from this first one, you might need to hold, or, and if you're, you got enough speed off of the first one, you might just hold jump the whole way through. You'll see here, I didn't immediately jump, I ran for a couple bit, just so I could pick up slightly more speed. If you hold speed, like if you jump too late, you will fall here. Uh, I was almost the furthest I could go. I think you can go a little bit further, you can jump a little bit later. It doesn't really matter. All that matters is that you get enough of the speed off of those moving platforms. Uh, and it's not very difficult to do. Um, you're basically just holding jump uh, off of this. You'll be holding jump even here off of this. The only difficult part uh, through this whole section is right here. As soon as you land, as, as quickly as you possibly can, try and hit a long jump. And what that looks like is as you go in for a landing, you'll hit the long jump button. So uh, just to show you in game what that all should look like is you hit the moving platform cycle, you do that, and then you long jump. Because what you're aiming for is around here. If you look on the slope, there's a steep portion here that you want to be aiming for. Because if you hold uh, down on that steep portion, you go really fast, and you can skip over all of this, which you'll see in just a second. You're aiming for that portion. I was slightly before that portion, but either way, it's still going to be fast. Because what that does, landing on the slope like this, you might be thinking, uh, why can't you just um, jump, uh, like after you've done the momentum buildup, why can't you just jump normally off of this? Because you see, uh, you have to walk here. You lose all of that speed that you gained from the moving platforms. Uh, and even that, if you'd started sliding here, you stop. You see how you stop before you start building momentum? Uh, it's way more beneficial for you to start down here because you don't really stop for as much. You build up speed way quicker, um, which just helps. It, it, it makes the run go quicker, you, your momentum transfers, and it looks cooler. Uh, the next trick. You'll be holding jump all through here, just regular jump, jump and right, all through here. Until you get to here, you'll wait just a little bit, not much, you'll just wait a little bit. Uh, and there's two ways of doing this. Um, you can do it the easy way, which um, from here, once you land from all the way over here with all of your speed, uh, I'm just going to reset and get that speed back so you can see. Once you land from here, this is the hard way. You don't want to land on that. You want to hook back in and wall jump. That is the hard way. The easy way instead will look something like this, where you jump here, and then you can hold jump or long jump into the wall. Either or is fine. Uh, technically speaking, this one is faster, and if you're pushing for really fast times, you'll want to learn how to hook back in. It's This is one of the more difficult of the hookbacks, uh, like high jumps to wall jump but it does save slightly more time. You can see me compared to that guy right there. I hook back and do the regular jump, and now I am far ahead of him, uh, this person here. 
Uh, it's just a faster strategy overall to hit uh, and allows you to do this next part very consistently. A lot of people have asked over time, how do you do the moving platforms? Because these moving platforms are very annoying. Uh, I On some of my older runs, I did the worst way you could have. I didn't realize that it was bad, I thought it was good, but now I know it is one of the slowest. Uh, now, my, what I recommend is this. When you are here, normal jump, do not high jump, unless you have to, but I'll explain what that means in a second. Normal jump up to this platform here. From here, just wall jump. As soon as you touch that platform, uh, you'll wall jump up to this, and then from here, you'll try to get two more wall jumps. A wall jump here as quickly as possible. This is easy because you can buffer it. You can, you can hold the jump button before you land, and then it will automatically wall jump. But you'll want to um, hit that uh, wall jump two times off of two of these moving platforms so that you get up to this. As soon as you get here, off after those two wall jumps up the, up the place, and just to remind, uh, when I say two wall jumps, it's a wall jump off of this moving platform, a wall jump off of that moving platform, and then you should be onto a moving platform. From here, at the end of this, as soon as you can, without bonking your head, you'll high jump, and then as soon as you hit this wall, wall jump, and then wall jump off of this moving platform. I found that this is the fastest you can gain height in this section, while also getting past the moving platforms, and just barely making it past this. Uh, from here, there's two ways you can continue. If you land on this platform, like if you just barely have enough height and you land on this platform, it's better to long jump. I would recommend long jumping as late on this platform as you can because it just gives you a better chance of getting over this spinner. If you can't do that, like right here I missed that long jump. You saw I did touch the ground, but I missed the long jump. So as a backup, you can high jump here and it will most of the time get you right here. You can see here, I just barely got into this spinner cycle at 23 seconds. Um, this this is kind of going to be, I'm going to talk about this more in the part two, uh, the importance of these two spinners. Because if you'll notice, they're not in sync. The spinner on the right moves slightly uh, faster, I believe, than the one on the left, meaning they're out of sync. So depending on where you get here, I'll just show you by going up this tower, depending on when you get to these spinners, you can see they're, they're going out of phase with each other. You're going to get a bad cycle or a good cycle. Uh, if you get a bad cycle, there's really nothing you can do about it. This is why I recommend you start uh, resetting from the green flag, um, because resetting from the green flag negates this entire randomness that happens with these being out of cycle with each other. Uh, oh, hey, it's random. Uh, but yeah, these being out of cycle with each other gets fixed if you press the green flag, because if I press the green flag, uh, wait a couple cycles of the moving platform and then do all of the strats leading up to the spinner cycle You'll see just an entire run like 20 seconds worth Getting up to there and this is what everything I've set up to this point looks like You'll get all the way through here You'll see I missed it, but I was still in a 23 cycle. So that's that's a good time. That's a time you'd like to see. Uh, being under that cycle, th this spinner, at roughly uh, 23 seconds. This was a very fast run. I mean, it was the world record, so I was almost a 22 cycle. In this strategy that I'm going for now, it is a 22 cycle, but I'll explain how to do that in part two. Uh, for now, just try and aim for a high 23, and if you can't even manage that, then notice if you were to get into this uh, under the spinner now, it would still be a 23, just a very high 23, or a 24, and either of those is fine. Uh, I'm going for 22s, I don't recommend anybody else unless you're really pushing for those top times. Uh, this next part uh, is very important. Once you get past the spinner cycle, it's kind of uh, important that you make this jump. It's very precise, but it does save a lot of time because it lets you start that slope on the steepest part here, because this part here is slightly steeper than this, and you lose less time. And besides, you already have that slope speed, and can move down like this. And I, there's this glitchy in interaction where if you're already moving down on a slope, you go faster, and it starts moving you quicker on this slope. So just learn how to hit this jump, 
it's kind of precise. All, the idea is you're hitting your head on this uh, spinner piece right here. Slows your vertical momentum so you can just hit this uh, slide right here. From here, you'll slide all the way down, jump uh, anywhere from about here to here should work with a long jump, so just while you're holding slow, uh, sliding, jump. And it should put you about on this flag. Uh, from here, I high jump normally, uh, which actually was good because if I hadn't, well, this might be a normal jump. But uh, high jumping here is never a bad idea because if you miss the high jump, you just reset. You might as well reset. Missing the high jump is a, enough of a time loss that you might as well go back and just do it again. Uh, but if, uh, if you think you're going to miss the high jump and you want to finish the run anyways, just normal jump. Like if this platform had been here, just normal jump. Uh, but high jumping is safer because you, I would have arced over this and onto this. Uh, which gets us into the hardest part, <laughs> in my opinion, of learning this game. Uh, let me get there in-game so I can explain why this part is the way it is and why it is the biggest run killer and will improve your time or limit your time the most if you don't know how to do it or do know how to do it. Uh, and it is the elevator skips. The notorious elevator skips. In this run I got four, which is very good. I am on this top platform before 30 seconds and out of here before 30.5. Er, 30 uh, but most runs won't look like that. Uh, let me move my mouse. Uh, most runs won't look like that. You have to kind of get used to it. Uh, the elevator skip, I'm going to go up here. This is a great place. If you can manage this jump here, this is a great place to practice. It just goes up forever. It allows you to uh, just practice elevator skips over and over. And if you accidentally long jump like this, no, pun no penalty. You just come back in, do it again. Uh, unlike down there, where you might die, you might have to respawn, and if you miss that flag, it's just annoying. So the whole idea of the elevator skip is you're moving right. At the very last second, you let go of right, do a high jump. So at that point, it should look like this. I recommend just practicing that motion. Once you can clear this ceiling without bonking your head, you can move on to the next part of the elevator jump, which is hooking yourself back into the left. Once you can do this, hook back into the left, which is entirely timing based. If you do it too early uh, on, a, on a bad elevator skip, you, you end up sliding against the wall, uh, which is a time loss and makes essentially is a reset uh, if you do that. Unless you're on a good run, you can keep going, but it's essentially a reset if you bonk that wall like that. So you want to not go too soon and you don't want to go too late because for the same reason. If you go too late on hooking back in, you'll end up uh, missing the platform entirely. So there's a very sweet spot window. It's not too hard to hit. It's just you have to do it. Uh, by the time you're here, or once you've hooked enough back in that you know you're going to land here, you want to jump, uh, start running back to the right and then do it again. Uh, I find that the first one is the hardest because there's this little thing uh, in uh, programming a platform game like this called a coyote jump, where as you're falling off, uh, it's just a little window, makes it feel nicer so that if you miss the platform, you can jump. The problem with the coyote jump is it makes the elevator skip impossible because you lose a little bit of height. You'll see uh, you end up being around here when you do the jump. And if you do that, you're almost never going to actually hit the whole elevator skip like that, uh, which is just unfortunate. So just be careful and jump around the yellow stripe here because that lets you, it gives you a lot more freedom. So the yellow stripe here to, to hook back at your own pace and you'll almost never get the coyote jump uh, like that, that little bug here. I'm sure it's happened to you if you've tried elevator skips enough times. Uh, and, it, and it does end runs, even at my level. I've ended so many runs doing that, but, but it is important to learn how to do. Uh, uh, when, and then as you practice, the nice thing about this, it goes up forever. Just practice. Go back and forth. Uh, learn, learn how to uh, get a little bit faster and faster, and it, eventually it'll just start making sense. And once you have this muscle memory down for how to elevator skip pretty quickly, it can only get faster. That's the nice part. So even though it is annoying to learn and it, it is hard to get used to doing because it's very foreign, it's a foreign motion for your hands to be doing, uh, it saves so much time. Each of these cycles, you'll see it takes the elevator 
uh, I, we could time it uh, once I get back down because I'm <laughs> pretty high up here. It takes uh, like one, two, almost two seconds, two whole seconds for each cycle. So every time you miss an elevator cycle, you're essentially losing two seconds. And every time you hit one, you save two. So in the world record, like I said, oh well, I don't want to fall. In the world record where I got four elevator skips, I'm essentially saving eight whole seconds uh, worth of time. So that's two seconds, two seconds, two seconds, and then a little less than two seconds, because on that last one you can just snake under here, but I was risky and went around. Uh, but that is, that's a basic breakdown of elevator skips. It's a hard trick, but uh, it, it is feeling based, so once you get it, it goes a lot faster. I promise you uh, it's not too bad to, to learn how to do. Uh, once you get through that, I recommend this jumping pattern. Uh, it might look random, it might just look like a swag jump. I've called it a swag jump in the past. You don't want to hit any of these. These terrain pieces are considered like slopes almost, and you'll bonk them and lose a little bit of speed. It's not very noticeable, but why? Why would you, if you can just jump over them? Uh, you'll want to long jump from this point. Long jump, because you're trying to land on top of this spinner. Don't immediately jump off of this spinner. Wait until the very last second that you can, because what happens is, when you're going on this moving spinner, it's the same thing as the moving platforms or the stairs. It launches you with so much speed that you get onto these elevators as soon as possible. This uh, next trick is uh, another physics bug in the game. You'll see I slide off, which shouldn't be possible, but it is a bug. What this lets you do, if you um, see in game, what it lets you do is skip uh, the weight that you would normally have. So let's say you got to this point and you didn't do that. Gravity takes a second to hold on. You, you fall, yes, but it's slightly slow. If you do the glitch, it shoots you straight down. And the idea is you're, the sloping mechanic hugs you to the ground, and if you don't do that, you're essentially uh, skipping out on that slope and it'll shoot you into the ground. But it's not the ground, it's just the air. So it, it saves time, uh, actually a pretty good amount, like 0.3 seconds, which doesn't sound like a lot, but it is it is a lot to, to hit. Uh, and just learning how to do that is good for another trick later on that saves way more than 0.3 seconds. But uh, once you do that, you don't want to hit the ground. <laughs> if you hit the ground, you will die. You want to let go uh, as low as you can. So I let go around here just to be safe because depending on which platform you get in, the timing will be different. But um, just to be safe, let go around there, run here. You'll want to long jump from here, because the nice thing about long jumping, notice when you uh, normal jump, uh, when you normal jump here, it takes a while for that speed to build up, right? So same, same difference here. If you just run here, it takes a second for the speed to build up. But let's say you long jump there, the speed buildup is immediate. It, it's instantaneously you have full speed. From a, from a standstill, you you can move fast. Uh, actually, I've thought about using that at the start of the very very start of the run, but it's impossible. Uh, you can't do it without losing some some amount of time. Uh, either way, um, back to the back to the run. Once you do that long jump, you'll be here. If you are overshooting, so if you're here-ish and you long jump and you notice you're going to uh, like overshoot, uh, which would look like something like this, you don't want to die. You don't want to lose your run. Just hold in slightly and you'll uh, essentially save yourself the trouble of having to reset your entire run. Uh, hold slightly back, and I'll show you what that looks like um, if you do it this way. I've never seen that one. Uh, either way, uh, you just want to hold back. Uh, so that you save yourself. Usually that doesn't happen as long as you're not too far to the left. Like after this, you'll be about here. But if you are slightly too late on your long jump, just hold in and then jump again. You'll notice you want to jump off of the very end, the very corner of this platform, because then you'll just barely land right here. There's a very tight window. You can do it late. I wouldn't recommend doing it early because you'll just hit here and fall in the lava. Uh, if you jump from here, uh, like normal jump, 
uh, it won't line up very good for the end, so I recommend long jumping from that platform so you can hold jump up the slope because if you don't hold jump up the slope, you lose speed. You're going so slow on this slope. But if you instead hold jump, you'll uh, be maintaining all of that speed and can get up to here. Uh, but yes, once you get up to here, you'll land either a little bit on the flag, a little to the left or right of the flag. All that matters is jump with a long jump from about the start of the slope piece, uh, from about the start of the slope. Do it too late and you'll miss it or accidentally slide and it'll cancel all of your momentum. Uh, but yeah, do it about there. Uh, this block is the bane of my existence. Sometimes you'll be on a good run and it'll be in the wrong place. Uh, as long as it's a diamond when you get to it, it, everything should line up. So as long as around the time you land on it, it looks like this, it should be good. Uh, if you get to it and it's like this, that's workable, but just be very careful because as you saw there, if you go for a long jump, I'm going to get the flag so I don't miss anything. You do a long jump here on an uphill slope, you don't get a long jump and you will inevitably fall into the lava doing that. Uh, and it's happened to me on very good runs. You don't necessarily want to do that. It's not fun to have to, to, to mess up. Uh, but if it happens, it happens. Uh, you can't really feel too bad about it. Uh, it just, it is the way it is. Um, I guess back to the strats here. You'll want to wait a second so that you can land on this platform with a long jump. Try and land around here because what that lets you do is you'll build up speed. As it's turning, you're gonna get speed from it. Same way as the spinners. You'll, you'll turn it and get speed. You'll hold, you'll, you'll long jump from here, I should say. Uh, with that speed, you should land on a platform, be holding jump, because the important thing is you want to land on this blue platform. We used to jump here. Uh, don't do that. You'll just waste time. It's not worth it. The faster strat is, and this is the other reason why you want to learn that corner boost, is if you fall from here, if you fall straight down from here, See that? You get this glitchy slope mechanic physics. You get maximum speed in zero seconds flat on this slope. Sometimes it doesn't happen, and, and I'll show what that looks like when it doesn't happen. It's kind of annoying, but um, if you do it too early, you won't get the full speed. Uh, you want to do it as late as possible, because um, doing it as late as possible will um, essentially save you all of that trouble. Uh, don't do it too late though, because if you do it too late though, that happens. But if you do it later, uh, or if you do it too early, that happens. You don't you don't get the jump, which which is annoying, and you lose the run. But you can always do it again. Uh, but from here, like that, sometimes you get the speed, sometimes you don't. I'm not entirely sure what does it. Uh, the stairs, after after you get through here, be holding uh, or sorry, don't be holding anything. After you long jump from about here, as low down as you can, to build as much speed as possible, you'll land somewhere here, long or high jump. So let go of A uh, for a brief moment, or, or left on the arrow keys if, if you do that. Let go of the control, uh, the left control, and high jump for just a little bit, and then immediately start holding left again. Um, I would recommend holding down here, because if you bonk and start falling down, I've been told... Uh, you don't hug the wall, you'll just fall immediately. But then from here, uh, you can either, if you hit another long jump off of the next stair, which is very fast, you maintain all of your speed if you do it that way. Uh, I should have been holding jump here. Uh, I should have been holding down and jump, uh, because then I wouldn't wall jump and I could just keep going. I didn't, so I lost some time. Uh, this is another part where there is time save. But normally you can either jump, I would recommend long uh, high jumping from here and then just holding left because it's safer. Uh, and then this spinner is another point that, as far as I'm aware, there's no way to control whether this is going to be good or bad. You kind of just have to hope that if you're on a good pace, it's going to be good. Good means that it's slightly tilted to the right from being a plus sign kind of shape when you, when you jump. Because what that lets you do, if you land here, same as the spinner, uh, same as the spinner back here um, on the run back. Same as the spinner. If you land on it here, you get full speed. Uh, if you land on it here and jump, long jump. If you don't long jump, you'll die. Uh, then you land on the flag. And you get a, uh, hopefully you get a record, uh, either for yourself or for the game. 
uh, but it's very fun. And, and just to exemplify what that jump looks like, like that. Uh, and, and, and you'll get it. And so there's my hour and 16 minute run. Uh, very impressive time. Uh, I think this might be a record for Rhino, so good for them. Uh, good for everyone here while I was doing this, putting up with me just standing for like an hour. Good people. Good people play this game. And if you play this game, that means you're a good person. So, yeah. I, uh, I hope you... I hope this helped. I know it's a long video. I'm going to probably put timestamps in the description as well as um, in the comments and, and hopefully do the uh, chapters so you can more easily see each part. Uh, I'm going to probably put a long, uh, short form breakdown with captions at some point. And then, of course, part two is going to be released uh, sometime in the next week that breaks down the more minute details like when do you re when do you reset your run uh with the green flag or how can i do that without having to use the mouse things like that um i'll get into in the next part uh but yeah for now uh hopefully this is helpful i know a lot of people have been asking me to do something like this so uh, i'm glad that i was able to um, hopefully it doesn't too, uh, take too long to publish uh, so you guys can see it uh, quickly and be improving your times uh, throughout the week. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, I won't ask for likes or anything. I do this for fun. Uh, but if you want to, I guess it does help more people see this and maybe get into the game, which would be fun and great. Uh, I recommend following the studio, which I will also link in the description for this game. Uh, it has a link to the uh, dis uh, discussion forum, the um, leaderboard here, uh, which also has a link back to the speedrunning studio, the game, and the video that we were just watching here, uh, as you can see. But it goes through Scratch, so you don't have to see any of the other comments. Uh, and, uh, and from here, you'll be able to find where I'm putting this video and where I'm putting the next videos. And uh, if you ever post a run, post it on this forum. There are many pages worth of people posting their times. Very, very proud community of their times. But yes, if, if you click on the studio uh, from there, you can see all of these great times, people putting them here. Uh, and, and ask for help. People ask for help. They say, need some tips. Uh, and I'm always there. Uh, sometimes I can't get to it. I'm busy uh, some days, but I try my best. Um, uh, if you want to be added, just just message here. There, there are people. Uh, if I don't get you a Volpin Will or a Sunar, one of them will get to you. So all that matters is uh, you get in and can have fun and learn to run the game. Like I said, there is the link to the discussion. I'm, I'm the owner, so I can't click on it, but this should be clickable for everyone else. Uh, just read the rules in the, in the forum, I guess, uh, here. I, I put some rules. If you can't record a video, like OBS is free. That's what I'm using right now. If you can't record a video, try to. <laughs> and if you can't, uh, I know some people post videos that they recorded through Scratch. Sometimes it doesn't work, but when it does, it's very cool. And it's helpful because some people can't access YouTube, uh, I, I've been told, uh, which is sad. But uh, if you can't, I know some people do post onto Scratch their times and their runs, uh, so uh, yeah, so hopefully this helps and makes a little bit of uh, sense. Oh, did I accidentally leave something on? Oh yeah, I did, okay. Uh, yeah, so yeah, hopefully this helps. I'm, I'm hoping you can enjoy this game and learn to speed run it and have fun doing it. Uh, and then I guess just as a send off, I'm gonna try and get the, try and get the record here while you're while you can watch just for fun uh just to show off uh how consistent these strats can be uh that i can do something like this just on a whim they're not very hard this game isn't necessarily hard there are some tricks that are harder than others uh but i would say on in general the game is very easy so if you miss that just as a backup you can do this and then get over here it's not going to be a great time but it should be enough. Uh, it's a, it's yeah. This community is great. The run is great. There's a lot of improvement possible. I know so much because uh, I'm the one who made a lot of the strats. I have uh, Geotail uh, from Griff Patch's Discord and whatnot uh, to thank for a lot of the strats that I use. Uh, they're a very cool person. 
uh, and in general, just this whole community is great. And, and it's fun to be able to run alongside people who are passionate about something. And I know you guys are passionate because uh, you're very enthusiastic when, when your times get on the leaderboard. So it's not a great time, but you can see very consistently I, I mean, I messed up some things here and there, but with the with the strats on this video, it's it's very easy. It's it's a fun uh, it's a fun it's fun to do. Um, I normally uh, that is the one downside of resetting with the green flag. As soon as you do, you lose the uh, thing. But but it's not something to hoard. It's not something to hold on to. It's something for everyone to see uh, and and be able to have. So um, yeah, I guess that's that's all. Thank you for watching. Uh, and I will see you in part two.